Check out these sweet moves. Whoa, I'm actually shaking my whole computer tap. All right, how's it going, my lords? And welcome to another viewer-requested game. So I be suddenly became a magical girl to fight aliens from another dimension. Ooh, I think this is the one, I think this is the one you, you linked me to, Mr. Mr. Wonderful Lord. So I'm going, we're just gonna, we're just gonna start. All right, we're gonna get into this. I'm actually excited. This looks colorful and uh, adorable. Uh, this is the story of how my life changed forever. And I became a magical boy. Cause I'm already magical. Ah, it all started back on that fateful school day. The sun was shining and the air was unusually warm. The cherry blossoms were in bloom and the students around me were excitedly chatting. It seemed like a perfectly average day, but dun, dun, dun. Uh, uh, but um uh uh hello we're doing a thing oh hi ah screw it I forgot what I was gonna say next oh okay you seem very unhappy but don't worry everybody has those mo well it was fun while it lasted was it. Well, what? Are, is, is it over? It's already done? Alright, so what do you think so far, huh? Wasn't my intro great? Sh sure. What? What? So am I my own person in this? Huh? So you ignored me? Well, no, I was, I was listening. I was intently waiting for the next part, but you know, you didn't really follow through. I s sorry. Seems like you're the only person here, though, so I'll just continue talking. Too bad. Okay, I mean... Whatever. Uh, wait, I haven't introduced myself. God, I'm such a doofus. Yeah, you doofus! No, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I know, I'm giving you such mixed signals right now. No wonder you didn't know what to say. Yeah, I don't know what's going on at all. I, yeah, I don't even know your name! What are you, what are you going on? In that case, let's get some things out of the way. <clears throat> the name's Kagami. I'm a second year at Genriku Academy. Generiku? We're in for a treat. It's that kind of dry, cynical, but also uh, humor that I really appreciate. Generic ku. Okay, okay. You know, the school nearby Cohen Park in Toshi City? Wait, don't tell me you don't know Cohen Park either. I feel, I, I wonder if I'm like saying that one wrong. I, all right, let's just, just, geez, do you live under a rock? No! I live under my blankets, because I'm usually asleep. That's how I live my life. <laughs> um, anyways, Generiku is a well-known school in my area. Well-known for what, you say? Uh, uh, being pretty average as far as schools go. You could say it's pretty generic. It's completely ordinary in every respect, even down to the number of toilets. Is that... Believe me, I can't- what, what is an ordinary number of toilets? What is- but you don't want to hear more about that- Actually, I do! I want to know the science behind an excessive amount of toilets. I know you, you- you always know when there's not enough toilets. But what is the, like, general amount? I actually- the, I'm actually the founder of the one and only Magical Girls Club! Why are you talking to me? I'm a dude. I clearly have- let's not go there. <laughs> a well-loved and celebrated student society where I'm the only member. Sounds like it's not a club, actually. Nobody else in my year thinks so, but Magical Girls are so cool. Yeah, they can be pretty cool. Have you seen Madoka Magica? It's a really, it's a really great show if you want to cry. The main snicker about me being obsessed with what they call little kid stuff. But I bet the trendy dramas they swoon over never features any girl fighting the world for her beliefs. Or wearing super cute costumes. I see why you're a fan. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm here to show appreciation for Justice's sparkly defenders. And hopefully be one of them someday. All right, well, we've got our plot. What? I'm totally serious. So what you're saying is Magical Girls are just like a TV show? Or are they real in this world? Maybe I should give you three short facts. You know, to break the ice a bit. I thought we'd already broken the ice, because we're already, like, really having this conversation deeply. Uh, sometimes I play lacrosse for school. Wait, you're teaching me? You're let it, telling me about you? Do I have to, like, date you with this? Is this a dating sim? I don't do that often, though, because I've always made ghouly. I don't know what this says. A lacrosse captain makes me stay, wants me staying in one place after I lost her big game. I swear it had to do something being, like, klutzy running. But who knows? I don't know. Number two. My parents are super busy, so I basically live alone. It's not like I care. I actually enjoy the freedom of doing whatever I want. And number three, number three, uh, uh, 
My favorite food is beef jerky. What flavor? That's important. You can't just say beef jerky is my favorite. That's like saying I like ice cream. There's a lot of options there. You don't just stop at just like in general. That's uh, all I can think of. What if I gave you like tofu flavored beef jerky? You'd have flavorless jerky. You'd just be eating tough meat. <laughs> so now that you know me a bit, let's get to my story. I feel like I'm dwelling on the really unimportant things like generic toilets and the flavored oh, man. My average day at generic academy classmates chit-chatting sunny day petals falling You know you get the idea is that regular stuff. I had just finished the last class of the day and I think it was math Anyways, it was really, really boring, and as soon as the bell rang, I was totally prepared to leave. As except I couldn't. I had detention that day. Why? Why did you have detention? Yeah, tell me this. Push. It was over something really small. It was from wearing the wrong PE kit too often or something. Did you at least wash it between? They're really oddly strict about that. As long as you wash it, yeah, I feel like they're overreacting, uh, uh, but if it's just like... Anyway, the punishment I had to stay in the classroom for like an extra hour or something. The teacher made me clean up all the blackboard dusters, wash the windows, and throw out the trash. Well, it sounds like you had to clean. Why? How is that humiliating? I mean, I guess it's a little embarrassing. Cause, oh, you got detention. It's like, ah, I could care I got detention. What a bloody fire, stupid bird. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. It's humiliating. I try not to swear so much in that because I don't feel like the, all this lovely pink soothing color needs that anger red did it die terrible I had to see my classmates run off yabbering about how great their weekends were gonna be when I was finally allowed to go home the sun was already setting okay the pristine school complex was bathed in amber hues since no one remained after class at school on Friday I had to walk home on my own do you have any friends it sounds like you're the kind of person who usually walk home on the road not to say like you're a bad person you just seem kind of excluded I wasn't really in the best of moods during the 10 minute journey back I thought stuff like god this sucks why does this world hate me today you had detention because you probably stank I mean that's it's a bit of an overreaction. Tell them, like, tell you to have a shower. But I could feel myself gritting my teeth and growling. I probably got a few odd looks from some strangers, but I couldn't care less. Okay. I uh, once I reached home, I should, I immediately went to the front door. I unlocked it, stepped inside, and dumped all of my schoolwork in the middle of the hallway before making my way upstairs. Okay. I mean, you could have just dumped it in your room. That's just gonna make a mess when you have to find it earlier. Later, I mean. I flicked on the TV and began surfing the channels as I often did on Friday night. You me both. You me both. Usually, there'd be a decent program showing, like Pretty Miracle, Doki Doki Witches, or Star Shoulder Soldier Miu Yu Yu. But for some strange reason, they weren't on that day. The only thing that was on the news, uh, oh, oh, was the news. So I gave up looking and began to watch the latest reports. The stories weren't that interesting. Just a load of boring politics, interviews, and weather forecasts. If that was the only thing on, I feel like there would be something more than just, you know, boring politics like there's probably like an um, an emergency alert that's the only time uh we we've just received several reports of a series of unidentified floating objects making their way towards the toshi city that's what i mean i mean why would they open up with politics if it's like an emergency broadcast it's cutting out all other signals so you can't like ignore it it wouldn't just start off with politics and the weather no one knows how they make their way there but many suspect it to be promotional stunt why is this an emergency alert if it's a promotional stunt? What? Though I don't recall any recent films having moth-like airships. Ah! They're attacking the city! They vaporize buildings and the people in those buildings! Somebody! Anybody! I'm still reporting, but help me! Suddenly, the TV signal died. Oh, I ran to my window without thinking. Okay. I feel like if this was me and I saw that, I'd be like... Oh. Oh shit. Well, fuck me, I guess. And there they were. A whole fleet of those mothy airships. Their beams were vaporizing buildings left and right. Sirens and yelling could be heard everywhere. It was so scary! Was this what Miyu you felt too? When she faced the destructive Antimatarians for the first time without any star soldier powers! 
or Reina Mao, the first pretty miracle who fought against the royal dark hearts. Whatever the case was, though, they always prevailed. For a split second, I thought if I go out there, maybe I'll get powers and defeat evil too. But I reminded myself that that was real life, or this was real life, and in real life, there are no such things as magical girls. You just die from invading alien moths. I say, spinning wands and cute incantations could never save our planet from anything, right? Oh, it sounds like you're leading into something, game. Huh? I turned around and found a small, furry creature face down on the carpet. Ow. <laughs> oh my god, hey, Bean, you've, you've really let yourself go. What happened to you? <laughs> let, me, let me remember Bean's voice really quick. God, I really haven't done any portal leaping in a while. I'm out of practice. Whoa, who are you? How did you get into my room? That doesn't really matter right now. I've got better things to do. Have you seen Outside Woman? Dear God, yes. What? How do I find these people, honestly? Just a question. Why are you so loud? Oh, uh, sorry. Fine, fine. Apology accepted. Anyways, I'm here to tell you something. Okay, but if you're gonna do that, at least tell me who you are first. My name's Bean. I've- I've had a bit of years since I was last on this planet. Uh, alright. I'm... Nyanya. <laughs> Bean's distant cousin, actually. Sorry, I- I mix myself up sometimes. It's- it, it explains the- the slight variation in ears and the lack of a second tail. Pfft. You know, this is why I hate telling everyone my name. I don't get why people find it so funny. It's a pretty common magic land and name. <sighs> Look, let's get things straight here. I was sent by the Queen of Magical Land to give you this. I don't know why it's you. You don't really seem like the most apt individual, but here you go. I've done my job, let me leave. Uh, what's that? Let me see here. Patent Magical Compact Mark Three. Human use only. Used by Magic Land as will result in hemorrhaging, vomiting, liver failure, and brain damage. Frankly, I'm not entirely sure why we invented it. There were a lot of failed experiments. You, you get the idea. Just take it. Cool! <laughs> what am I supposed to do with it? Don't people your age normally use compacts? <laughs> I've never worn makeup in my life! So, nope. <sighs> I can tell. <laughs> Alright, give it to me. First you open up the lid, then you yell a bunch of nonsense, and away you go. Now I'm gonna hand it over to you, and I'm going to go and eat a bunch of ice cream, because that's what I want. Don't screw up or anything, kid. I see you around. Okay! Gasp! M miracle loving light! Oh, we're gonna get like an actual magical girl transformation? Or are we gonna like... Okay, we're just gonna uh, transition. That's fine, that's fine. When the light had died down, I found myself totally different. I could easily see that my outfit had changed, but I ran to my mirror just to check it all out. <gasps> I think the biggest change, other than the clothes, was wearing, was in, uh, I was wearing, was in my hair before it barely sat around my shoulders. But now it was longer, lighter, and tied in ribbons. I swear I'd become 10,000 times cuter. Kawaii! <gasps> Holy crap. I can't believe it! I'm a magical girl for real! And that was all the time I have for, for this episode. So I'm gonna have to make this a two-parter because I feel like we, we've had like 15 minutes and it looks like we got moth people to still take care of. So I think we're gonna we're gonna end on a cliffhanger. Does she succeed? Does she die? Does Nyanya ever get to sleep? His eyes clearly say he needs in the next episode, we will find out. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you, lovely Lord, for suggesting this for me. I know who you are. You know who you are. And I hope you guys will stick around for the next episode. And I will see you guys. Bye-bye. Next time. I should have got that order right. Okay. <laughs>